or so, and we're gonna find Megan, who I think has making a truck that runs on vegetable oil. It's kinda quiet today. Hey, Russo. Oh, hey, Kaylee. You want to interview Megan? Sure. Yeah. She's over here. All right. Hey, Megan. Hey, what's going on? Working on my thesis. Tell me about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my thesis, well, there's sort of a backstory to my thesis. I have, um, I have this best friend who has a Ford Bronco, which is like the full-size white. It's like the OJ truck, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. And, um, and I used to drive around the car all the time and like really, really love the car, but the emissions are really high. So um, while I was working here at ITP, um, sort of my background of personal consumer choices and like where materials and food and everything started factoring into the stuff that I was studying. And so for my thesis work, sort of integrated that and this car, this mm -hmm. truck rather, and um, really looking at the personal choices we make with car culture in okay. the United States. And so we decided that in order to save the Bronx, which is his car, um, so we didn't have to sell it because mm -hmm. the emissions were so bad, we were going to convert it to buy a diesel. Oh, awesome. So, um, which actually sounded like it would be really easy. And we were like, oh, this will be great. And then I'll document it for my thesis and really explore the options. Um, what sort of happened is that the Bronx is a gasoline car. Uh -huh. so actually requires replacing the whole engine with a diesel engine, with a diesel yeah. engine and the suspension as well because the diesel engine is heavier right. than the gasoline engine. So it really became this real personal investment of how much do you love your car. Mm -hmm. It was about a $10,000 investment right. to get the whole, all the work done. So we were going back for, yeah, we're like, <laughs> is it worth, exactly, right? We're like, is it worth it? You know, you could just buy a new car for that amount of money. What really came out of the project is that Every time I started talking about the Bronco, people actually got really excited about it, and right. it um, turned sort of environmental or sustainable energy issues into something that was really easy to talk about. Right. Because um, people just identify. Like, like it made this physical thing. Yeah, I love that it. car. My yeah. friend had one of those. We used to cruise around it all the time. See, yeah, like everyone White has. Bronco. Yeah, everyone <laughs> like has a, a story, right? Yeah, yeah. either it's about a Bronco or like a Mustang right. or like somebody has. Most people have a car that they love. For my actual thesis work, though, I'm specifically looking at documenting all of the research that I've done into this because there's so much information out there. <laughs> so that's, that's really exciting. So it's more of like yeah. a, a document documentation. Mm -hmm. So do you have a website? I do have a website. It's actually, it's biobronc.com. But as you can see here, like, you've got a video, and it's, if you play it, you'll go through the time code and it will highlight. There's a lot of comments in this one, but it'll highlight as you go. These are all the comments I made at that specific point in the time code. People could go to BioBronc and look at it as an example of a way to mm -hmm. document any large-scale project. Absolutely. Definitely. And it's a template, yeah. a set of tools yeah. that are Definitely. free. It's open source. Yeah, I mean, WordPress, people can set and up Sean's those accounts. Sean's, Sean's code is open source. Megan McMurray. Isn't she wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> so how's your wrist? It's better. It's doing good. I took 24 hours off, and um, now I'm feeling like I could play some ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you should check out um, itp.nyu.edu so you can catch up and find out about the show, the spring show that's going to be happening here. And it's very exciting. That's first week in May? First week in May. First week in May. We'll we'll be updating you with the dates. <laughs>